Good morning, students. Myself, Janish Shah, Assistant Professor at LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. In our last lecture, we have seen that what do you mean by the linked list? Okay, then we see that how the linked list can work, how it can be presented in memory. Okay, see, this is the figure that we have last seen that the first is a pointer which pointed to the first node of the list. In single linked list, the last node of pointing to null. The node of the linked list contains two different things. One is data, one is pointer. Okay, fine. But here we usually use info and link for the algorithms. Okay, what is that? Let me go move ahead. Just wait for a minute. Okay, fine. See, now this is a very important point availability stack. Okay, so students. Availability stack that means a stack which contains empty spaces in the memory. Okay, what do you mean by the empty spaces in the memory? It means like uh, you have empty place in the memory. What the linked list do? Whenever it wants something from the memory, if I want to bring the node from the memory, I'm just take, go with the availability stack. And I am checking with in availability stack whether the free slots are available or not. See, link is obviously doing dynamic memory allocation. Okay. For dynamic memory allocation, it means it will work at the runtime. Dynamic memory allocation works at the runtime. Okay. It means if there are no blank spaces, no empty spaces in the memory, you cannot create node from the availability stack. Okay. Whatever the empty spaces in the memory are combined in availability stack. If this is an empty, empty space in the memory, this, 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 such like this, the empty spaces are combining in availability stack. Okay, got it. So here, what happens? The availability stack is nothing, but is a collection of the nodes which are empty, which are not allocated by any type of link. Is that clear? Okay, imagine imagine that you are coming inside the class okay you are coming inside the class okay and uh, there are whole classes full okay only three or chairs are combined together and placed at one one there okay so what happened you just come inside you ask me for the chair what i told you just bring out the chair from the chair stack chair stack stack of the chair okay where each and every chair we just uh, put put it over there. So what happened? You just come inside. You bring out the chair from the chair stack, take it out, and sit over there. Another student come inside. He just come inside, bring out the chair from the chair stack, take it out, and sit on that. Fine. So just imagine, just imagine that that chair stack, chair stack is a availability stack. Now what happens? At the one point. Hold the chairs are becomes empty. Okay, hold the chairs are just taken out or occupied by the students. Another student come inside the class. Another student come inside the class. And if he asked me to sit in class, what I told him, there are no chair left. So you cannot sit in my class. Clear? Okay. Same thing happens with the memory. If there are no empty spaces are there in availability stack okay you cannot generate extra node for the link list okay let us see availability stack see this is a availability stack okay where each and everything is contains a node contains a node please during this lecture focus on my words focus on the keywords which i am using because from this lecture to each and every lecture of linked list, I'm using the same keywords, okay, or same language or same lingos for you. That sir, these are uh, that these words mean what? Okay, fine. So availability stack. If this is my availability stack, students, I'm just showing it in the form of linked list. So, see, this is a availability stack actually, because availability stack is nothing but it's a collection of nodes. It's a collection of node where each and every node contains two things. One is data, one is pointer, one is data, one is pointer. This is the same like that. See, data, 
pointer data pointer data pointer data pointer and the last node points to null that means this is nothing but a singly linked list okay i am just going to take the whole lecture on this point only because because it is very much important to understand linked list if you can understand this already stack then it is very easy to understand each and every algorithm of linked list fine okay so see what happens this is my availability stack this is availability stack representation using linked list now this is avail okay can you tell me what is the top what is the pointer we are using in stack top pointer what is that top pointer okay now tell me top pointer pointing to which element top pointer pointing to top element of the stack fine top pointer is pointing to top element of the stack okay same like that this is my stack this is my availability stack and avail is a pointer which pointing to the top most element of availability stack again i am repeating sir what is avail avail is a pointer you people know about top yes or no yes or no if you people know about top yes okay fine so top is a pointer which pointing to the top most element of the stack same like that avail is a pointer which pointing to the top most element of availability stack is that clear got it so so what happened this pointer is pointing to the top most element of the stack okay now imagine this whole availability stack as as stack of chairs stack of chairs okay this is the last chair this is the top chair okay now some students come inside the class and they want to they want to sit so see here i have only five chairs left 1 2 3 4 5 okay so what happened he just pull out the chair from here he just pull out the chair from here okay and then sit on that again he pull out the chair from here then sit on that so what happened five students are coming inside my class they are just taking chair from the top of the stack chair see 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay same like that the avail pointer is pointing to the below node okay fine so in stack in stack we are just representing using array whatever the algorithm we have seen for push pop pip change infix to postfix infix to prefix the all algorithms stack is implemented by array that's why what we usually say sir it is just top pointer is point, pointing to the below side so we are decrementing top we are in popping of the element we are just decrementing top point okay but see this is avail this is avail and it's also top pointer of availability stack but if you are going to decrement avail it will not set over here why why because avail the pointer the node avail, avail that first node of the stack and the below node of the stack okay both has not continuous memory location okay suppose this has address 1000 and this has address 200 okay then what happen if we are just decrementing avail then it pointing to 998 okay because it's integer type and two bytes just decremented from the 1000 it pointing to 998 but this node has address 200 so here you after deleting this element from the stack you cannot decrement avail pointer okay so there are no possibility of decrementing avail pointer so what you need to do you have to move your avail pointer to the next node okay okay fine okay so up to this it is clear that what do we will availability stack okay so let's for move forward that how can we get node from the availability stack okay okay fine so see the first step okay see this is a node avail this is a node avail now what i am doing i am just giving name to these nodes okay in linked list if you want to perform any operation any operation you have to assign name to particular node okay fine so what i am saying if this is a this is a top node okay this is a top node then avail pointer is pointing over here so this node name is avail okay the no, name of this node is avail according to me name of this node is avail 
Okay, I'm just assigning the name away. Why? Because away is pointing to here. Okay. Now, so this node name is away. Fine. Okay. Now tell me, what is this? This is again second one is a node. Okay. What's its name? Okay. So recently, what I'm doing, students? Recently, what I'm doing? I'm just doing that. The away is pointing over here. So name of this node is away. Fine. So which pointer is pointing to this node? Second node. This link, see this link. Okay, this link. This link is pointing to second node. So, what is the name of this link? Can you tell me? Okay. So, this is the link of which node? Of avail. Link of avail. Link of avail. So, students, what happened that my top node points by avail? The top name of the top node is avail. The second most, the second top node. Topmost node is pointed by link of away. Link of away. Fine. So that's why the name of the second node is link of away. Again, I'm doing assigning the name. If this is my node, this is my node, and it pointed by the away, then name of this node is away. Got it? Okay, fine. Then if this is my second node, for the second node, name of this node is link of away. Why? Because link of Avail. See, link of avail is pointed by this node, pointed to this node. That's why name of this node is link of avail. Okay. Now, what is this? This is link, and this is a third node. Okay. This is third node. So what happened? The name of this node is link of link of avail. Link of link of avail. See, this is the link of which node? This node. Node of this uh, name of this node is Link of avail, fine. So what the name of this node? Link of link of avail. Next, link of link of link of avail. So such like this, you can give name to this number of nodes. Fine. So this is very important part that how to give name to nodes. Okay. Now let's move forward. See. Now there is an assignment policy. Okay. That how can we represent this assignment in algorithm? So I'm just giving one example to you guys. Who points to whom? Okay. Okay. Who? Sorry. Who points to whom? Is that okay? So what happens? A points to B. A points to B. Then we can write A arrow B. If if A pointer points to B, then we can write A arrow B. Fine. Okay. We can represent in array. Sorry. If we can represent an algorithm such like this. So what happens? If P points to Q, if P points to Q, then we can write P arrow Q. We can write P arrow Q. Okay. So students, remove this node from the stack. I am just taking another pointer new. I am just taking another pointer new. Okay. So now, right now, new points over here. So see, who points to whom? New points to away. See, who points to whom? New pointer pointing to this node, and the name of this node is away. Okay, so students, if P points to Q, then you can write P arrow Q. Yes. If A points to B, then you can write A arrow B. So here, what happened? New points to away. New points to away. So you can write new arrow away. So this is the first step of the algorithm, and assigning new pointer to away. So New arrow away. Fine. Okay. So see, now I'm gonna I'm not gonna decrement, but I'm just removing the avail from here and assigning to the next node. Because after removing this node from the link availability stack, after removing this node from the availability stack, that node becomes first node. That node becomes first node. Okay. Fine. So what happened? I'm just moving my avail pointer to the below of this. So avail pointer will gone and come over here. Avail pointing over here. Avail pointing to the next one. See, that's why I am just assigning new. So I get the name of new node. Okay, this node is new. Okay, this node is new, and the name of this node is avail. Now this becomes avail. But avail to move avail below of the node. What we need to write that avail pointing to which node? This node. And name of this node is link of. Name of this node is link of avail, so you can write avail arrow link of avail. 
so it has become this gone this is also gone now the new link of avail becomes over here and link of link of avail becomes here now this node is avail this node is link of avail this node is link of link of avail and this topmost node is outside or removed from the availability stack and it is considered as a new node of the link list see now it just gone from the availability stack and it is considered as a new node of the link list so such like this you can remove node from the availability stack and take it for for your purpose so whenever you want to insert an in link list what you need you need to bring out empty node from the availability stack okay so what are the steps for it first you need to point new to avail c new to avail and then you need to point avail to link of okay so these are the steps that how can we take a new node for the link list from the availability stack and this is a very deep introduction of availability stack okay so students if you have any doubt in availability stack or what does it mean how it works how we can take the new node from the link list then please feel free to ask me till my next lecture we will we will learn about the first algorithm of link list so remember these steps very carefully these algorithms are insertion in link list at first position fine so till that if you have any doubt please feel free to ask me thank you so much